Yo! I didn't realize that this is a SmackDown before Fast Lane. So, yeah. Welcome to the last SmackDown before Fastlane 2023. The night started with the Bloodline confronting LA Knight, and after that, LA Knight is getting the help of John Cena. Tomorrow night, we are gonna get John Cena and LA Knight versus the Bloodline, or the Scuffed Bloodline, I don't know how you call it. I enjoyed this little segment. I'm really excited for next week when Roman Reigns will show up and eventually we'll see what that's gonna lead to. Probably Roman Reigns versus LA Knight. I which will mean that LA Knight will eventually lose, which makes me a little bit sad. But at least Roman Reigns will come back, you know? So this is a positive. After that, we had a triple threat. No, no, we didn't have a triple threat match. We're gonna have triple threat match tomorrow. Charlotte Flair, Asuka and Io Sky are gonna fight for the women's championship. My pick is that Charlotte is gonna win. 15 time champ, I don't know. Anyway, last night we had Charlotte Flair teaming up with Asuka against Damage Control. I don't know who won, to be fair with you, I don't remember. Because I was kinda upset that I totally forgot about Fastlane. But the match itself was good. I enjoyed it and it was a good preview of what can we expect at Fastlane. But I don't remember who won. Maybe I should check. Just give me a sec. Oscar and Charlotte won. Congratulations. After that, we had another preview match for tomorrow. Rey Mysterio versus Bobby Lashley, which I think should have been the match at tomorrow night. Instead, tomorrow we are having LWO versus Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits, or as I like to call them, the Street Business, or the Hurt Street, or the Hurt Profits. Um, Bobby Lashley won, um, and I guess that's why the match was not a title match, and I guess it's gonna be a title match in the future. Uh, the thing is that the Street Profits hurt uh, the big part of LWO that's gonna compete tomorrow. So Ray must have a call to call someone to join them. My guess would have been that he's calling Dragon Lee, but I think that he's actually calling someone else to join them for tomorrow. But that's one of the exciting parts for Fastlane that we're gonna have a mystery guy on the LWO side. I'm not a huge fan of LWO, but I'm excited to see who they're calling. After that, we had a quick one, a little bit of a squash match, a little bit of a preview match, but it's a debut made right. Dragon Lee versus Austin Theory. And at the end, Dragon Lee won. Yes, he didn't clean pin Austin Theory, a little bit of a Cameron Grimes help was happening there, but at least he won, which was great. I'm not a huge fan of Dragon Lee yet, but I see the potential there, and it would have been a bummer if he lost. So I'm really happy that he got the W, and that gives him some momentum for the future, and maybe future victories or title opportunities and stuff like this. So I'm really happy that Dragon Lee won. That doesn't hurt Theory in any way, that doesn't hurt a Grayson Waller, that only helps everyone, and I'm so happy for that situation. Last but not least, the main event, Jim Uso versus LA Knight, yeah, uh, finished with uh, basically the bloodline interfering into the match, causing a DQ. Earlier that night, we saw that the Judgment Day is trying to cut the deal with the bloodline. And basically, I think they're trying to help each other for fast lane for the titles tomorrow. I don't know what exactly is happening, but tomorrow we will see. Anyway, after the DQ happened, the Judgment Day joined the bloodline and they attacked John Cena and LA Knight. But John Cena and LA Knight was joined by Jey Uso, by Cody Rhodes, and I was expecting to see Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens because they were actually six on four, but somehow six on four, they, they beat them. I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen tomorrow. We are having John Cena and LA Knight versus the Bloodline, and also we are having the Judgment Day defending their tag team titles against Cody Rhodes and Jey Uso, and I want Jey Uso to win, 
and I want them to pick the titles even though I love the Judgment Day to the core. But anyway, that was the quickest review or talk video that I have ever done. I was thinking about doing a predictions video, but I'm gonna save it for the next pay-per-view. I mean, I was away for a couple of weeks. I'm not exactly right into every storyline. So it's not fair for me to do a prediction video. But yeah, that's it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm gonna see you tomorrow for Fastlane. And I hope you enjoy Fastlane or Collision or whatever you're watching. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.